When a commercial nuclear power plant ceases operations, it must be decommissioned. Decommissioning is a lengthy multi-step process during which the reactor and other systems, structures, and components of the plant are dismantled, and remaining radiation is reduced to levels safe enough for the site to be released for public use. Decommissioning has three phases, transition from operations, decontamination and dismantlement, and license termination. The process may take up to 60 years, though active decommissioning typically takes 10 years. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission continues its oversight throughout the process to ensure protection of public health, safety, and the environment. Phase 1. Transition from Operations When a nuclear power company licensee decides to shut a reactor down and decommission it, the company must make two formal certifications to the NRC. The company must certify that the reactor has permanently ceased operations, and the company must certify that the nuclear fuel has been permanently removed from the reactor and placed in the spent fuel pool. Once these certifications are submitted, the reactor license becomes possession only, and the company is no longer authorized to reload fuel and operate the reactor. The company also must submit a post-shutdown decommissioning activities report, or PSDAR. This report includes the company's plan and schedule for safely decontaminating and dismantling the facility, a site-specific cost estimate for decommissioning, projected costs for managing the spent fuel stored at the site, and a discussion of potential environmental effects of decommissioning. The PSDAR may be submitted before shutdown, but no later than two years after shutdown. The NRC staff convenes a public meeting near the plant to explain the NRC's oversight of the decommissioning process and to receive public comment on the report. The transition period typically lasts about two years. During this time, the company will transfer the spent nuclear fuel from the spent fuel pool to dry cask storage. The company will also make changes in staffing levels, security, emergency planning, and other areas. The NRC then transitions its oversight to inspectors from its regional and headquarters offices. These changes reflect the significantly lower risk of a nuclear accident once fuel is removed from the reactor. Once these transitional moves are implemented, the facility is in a safe and stable condition and the real work of decommissioning can begin. Phase two, decontamination and dismantlement. After the plant has transitioned to a non-operating status, the company may follow one of two strategies. Safe store or safe storage means simply leaving the site in a safe condition. This allows radioactivity to decay over time. It also allows money in the decommissioning trust fund to accrue interest. DECON is the active decontamination and removal of systems and structures at the facility. Most of the dismantled plant is sent to a licensed low-level radioactive waste disposal facility. Some waste may be disposed of in hazardous or industrial waste landfills, while some parts of the reactor may be placed in the spent fuel storage facility at the plant's site. During this phase, NRC inspectors visit the plant at regular intervals to review the licensee's activities and expenditures from the decommissioning trust fund. The NRC's financial analysts review the trust fund annually to ensure that enough money will be available to complete the decommissioning. Phase 3, License Termination. As cleanup nears completion, the plant operator submits a license termination plan to the NRC. This plan includes an updated characterization of the site, plans for final remediation work, and radiation surveys to demonstrate compliance with the NRC's safety requirements for license termination, and updated cost estimates for decommissioning. The plan also includes a supplement to the plant's environmental report, detailing any new information or significant environmental changes during the cleanup. To ensure the public is informed and involved in this final phase of decommissioning, the NRC holds a public meeting on the plan and offers an opportunity for a hearing. Before a license can be terminated, NRC inspectors conduct their own surveys to verify that the plant operator has successfully cleaned up the site to meet the NRC's safety requirements. The plant operator will continue to safely store the spent nuclear fuel at the site under NRC license and oversight until an alternate storage facility or a permanent disposal option becomes available. The remainder of the plant site is typically released for unrestricted use. This means any residual radiation is below NRC safety limits, and there is no need for further regulatory control by the NRC. From reactor shutdown to license termination, the NRC's safety requirements, inspections, and oversight ensure a safe and thorough decommissioning of the nation's commercial nuclear power plants. <laughs>